flow. Hello, Maria. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. How was your I, day? I, I working in, in the platform. In the platform. In the platform. Okay, are you almost finished? No. I I I have six, 60 60 percent 60 percent okay yes. but you are near see uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow uh, I I I think finish tomorrow okay good good the, Platform. All the material. See, sí, all the material. Okay. Yes. That's good. And how is your family? Ah, it's good. My family my family is, is good. All right, good. How many people in, in your house, Maria? Um I I have three people. Okay. Uh, my 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 son and my daughter. Okay. Good. In, in, in me. All right. Three people. How old are your children? Uh, my my daughter has has um, twenty years old. Is twenty years old. Is uh, is twenty years old. Okay. And my son is uh, twenty twenty five. Twenty five. Uh huh. Uh, twenty five years old. Okay, so there is a five year difference between your kids. What? It's a five year difference. See, si, five, five years different. Okay. Si. Okay. Good. And where do you live, Maria? I live in Via del Mar, La Libertad. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember you mentioned that the other day. Sí. Si. Okay, fine. And do you have any plans after we finish these classes? Um, my plan is um, follow, 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 study English. Okay. Because, okay. uh huh. Yeah, continue studying. Continue study, uh huh. Because. Because I need for my for, for my my MBA. Yes. Acabo de, ter, yes. acabo de terminar mi maestría y me falta el examen en inglés. Oh, so you said I recently finished my masters. I I I recently re recently finish my masters. I recently finished my master. And now I have to pass the English exam. And now I need to pass the, to pass the English exam. Exam. Ex okay. The English exam. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Maria. Very good. Nice. Um, All right. Uh, good. But yep. but uh, but the English is difficult for me. Okay, but you are practicing, so that is good. That is good. Be because um, I am very old. No, you're not old. 
<laughs> you're not old. Okay, so that's good that you're you're practicing. Hello, Nelly. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. What are you drinking today? Tea. Oh, tea. From wine to tea. <laughs> <laughs> that's a radical change. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Good. So how was your day, Nelly? Boring and I'm silly sealing boxes of gloves. Gloves? See? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Disposable? Disposable Sorry? gloves. Disposable? Do you know the word but, disposable? No. <laughs> okay, let me put it in the chat. Uh, in the platform chat, this possible. Do you see the word this possible? Yes. Okay, this possible means desechable. Oh, yeah. This possible. Nitrile, nitrile, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, in nitrile. Uh huh. Son de nitrile. Nitrile. Okay, nitrile, nitrile. Nitrile. And you are you selling that? Uh huh. Okay, how much is the box? Fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Yes. And how many gloves do you have in the box? Uh, one hundred. One hundred gloves. Okay. Yes. All right, good. And, and if a person wants to buy these gloves, do you have delivery service or what is the process? We, how do you say repartir? We give or we deliver? We give the, the book. We deliver the boxes in Metro Sur, Plaza Mundo, or a Popa. Oh, good, good, good. Good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Ya saben todo. Si alguien necesita guantes, Nelly está vendiendo. That's good. Qué bueno saber Black. eso. Hay veces que no Black. se encuentran. Ah, okay. Good, good. Black Very color. Good. good. Very good. Good. Thank you. All right, good. Okay, so today is March 31st, is the last day of the month. March is history. March, March is history. Sure. Yes, yes. In the, in the classes, finish in Thursday. Thursday, yes, Thursday is the last okay. day, yes. So we have two more classes. We have today, tomorrow, and one more on Thursday. After yes. that, um, we're going to continue. Are we going to continue with? Um, the, here's, here's the situation. You know that uh, one of the conditions to continue with the, with the course is that people need to present documents, right? But because of the emergency and the situation that we have right now in El Salvador, presenting documents, it's almost like mission impossible. So no documents, we cannot start yet. So um, any information that we may have related with the classes, we will share that information in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. So, like I said, we have three more classes and after we finish the last class, I have no idea when we will start again. Hopefully it's going to be soon, but like I said, first we need to have the documents for the next level and then we will have to wait uh, a few days so we have a, a date to start. 
So we're going to have to be a little bit patient until we start again. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, any other questions concerning the class? Or the topics we have been studying? I guess not. All right. <laughs> so um, let's see. Uh, what was the topic yesterday? What was the main topic yesterday? Simple past. Simple past. What is the function of the simple past? Um, describe mm. past activities or past actions. Good. Yeah, the simple past describes past or finished activities. And just like the name says, in the past. In the past. In the past, exactly. So, um, so the simple past. Do you remember how many tenses we have in English? Well, no. Twelve. We have twelve tenses. Hay doce tiempos gramaticales en inglés. We have twelve. And every tense has a different function. One second, one second. Um, every tense has a different function. Mm -hmm. And the function of the simple past is to talk about finished activities. Give me one second, please. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, so so we have we have twelve different tenses, and every tense has a specific function. So when we talk about the simple past, we're talking about actions that are finished. We're talking about actions that are history. Now, in the simple past, we're going to use regulars and we're going to use irregulars. Remember that regulars for you to use them in the past form you put ed if you use irregulars the form of the verb changes are we okay there yes, yes. Okay. all right now let me ask you um what's the auxiliary we use to make questions in the simple past mm -hmm. Did, very good. Remember, we use did to make questions in the simple past, to make questions about actions. For example, did you watch television? Did you eat lunch? Did you pay the electricity? Did you take a shower? Pay the bills, watch television, eat lunch, take a shower. Those are actions. If you want to make questions about actions, you have to use auxiliary did and the form of the verb is base form. Do we have any questions there? No. Preguntas? No. 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 All right. If I want to express conditions, I'm going to use was or were. Were. Lo puede, lo puede aplicar de dos diferentes maneras. Toda pregunta, toda oración que tenga que ver con el verbo to be, usted va a ocupar was, were. Todo lo demás, usted va a ocupar did. O si usted prefiere, lo puede poner de que si voy a hablar de una acción, yo voy a ocupar did. 
si voy a hablar de una condición, entonces yo voy a ocupar was were. So how do you say yo estaba cansado? I was tired. I was tired. I was tired. Is tired an action or a condition? Condition. Condition. How do you say estábamos emocionados? We were excited. We were. We were excited. We were excited. Ya viene un, una, un, una pequeña práctica donde, donde le vamos a hacer hincapié a la pronunciación esa. All right. Uh, do we have any questions so far? Preguntas. No. No? No. Okay. So let me share this with you guys here. Okay, what is the negative of um, the negative of was? Wasn't. 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 Uh -huh. And what is the negative of uh, were? Weren't. 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 Uh -huh. So look here. Fíjese bien. Acuérdese que en inglés muchas veces las vocales que vemos son mudas. So look at this, all, all this right here, todo esto es negativo. A pesar que vemos dos vocales aquí y dos vocales aquí, la segunda vocal es muda. So what is the negative of are? Aren't. 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 Mire, ahí está bien claro. Una sílaba para pronunciar cualquiera de estas cuatro. So the negative of are is... Aren't. 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 Okay. Now, what is the past tense of are? Where? Okay. Do you say was. where or were? Were. No, were. 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 Si usted quiere decir dónde, entonces usted dice where. Pero si va a decir el pasado de are, usted va a decir Word. 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 How Word. do you say nosotros estábamos aquí? We were here. We were here. Good. Very, very good. We were here. We were here. Now, what is the negative of were? Weren't. 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 So, tal como usted lo escribe en positivo, W-E-R-E, a pesar que lleva doble E, solo suena la primera. En inglés vamos a hacer exactamente lo mismo. A pesar que lleva doble E, solamente va a sonar la primera. So the negative of word is weren't. 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 How do you say nosotros no estuvimos en clase? We weren't, We weren't, in, weren't class. in class. Ok. We weren't in class. We weren't in class. Acuérdense que todos tienen que decirlo. Hay gente que responde más rápido que otro, pero su misión es siempre pronunciar, siempre responder, aunque sea el último en responder. No importa. So, aren't, weren't. What is the negative of do? Don't. 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 Now, listen to this. Tenga cuidado con el negativo de can, porque el negativo de can, la T es bien suave. Entonces, muchas veces nosotros decimos can't y marcamos bastante la T. So, si, si yo le pregunto a usted, can you come to my house? Usted me va a decir, no, I can't. Oiga bien como digo, no, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. La T okay. es bien suavecita. La T es bien suavecita. Entonces, si usted quiere, usted quiere sonar natural y quiere acercarse a la pronunciación gringa lo más posible, esa T suena suave. No la marcamos mucho. Entonces, usted no va a decir can't, sino que usted va a decir can't. can't. Can you please help me? No, I can't. Can you give me $20? No, I can't. No, I can't. Letter T is very soft. Now, Now we go with two syllables. Isn't, 
wasn't, doesn't, and didn't. Ahí, ahí sí suenan dos sílabas. So once again, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, and didn't. Ok. So oiga mi pregunta y me responde practicando esto. Did you go swimming today? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ajá, ¿qué pasó con los demás? Oigan bien. Did you go swimming today? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Did you stay in your house? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, I, listen I carefully. Did. Listen carefully. Did you stay in your house? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ajá. Yes, I did. Okay, remember this. El auxiliar con el cual usted hace la pregunta, con ese mismo auxiliar tiene que responder. For example, are you in your house right now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Is your sister with you right now? No, she isn't. No. No, she isn't. Were you at the beach today? No, I wasn't. No, I don't. Okay. Does your sister drive a pickup truck? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. Do you speak Portuguese? No, no I don't. No, I, I don't. No, I don't. Exactly. No, I don't. Can you play chess? No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. I can't. Who can play chess? ¿Quién sabe jugar ajedrez de ustedes? Nobody. 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 No. Okay, good. All right, so do we have any questions about pronunciation? No. Now, I'm going to no. read exercise B. You guys pay attention and just repeat uh, when I tell you. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. All right. So I'm going to say them one by one and you guys repeat. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. These aren't their swimsuits. Okay. Todavía oigo dos sílabas cuando dice aren't. aren't. You're supposed to say aren't, not aren't. 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 So one more time, pay aren't. attention, pay attention. These aren't their swimsuits. These aren't their swimsuits. 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 ¿Por qué asegura esa persona que esos no son los trajes de baños de ellos? Because they can't swim. Exactamente, porque no saben nadar. Y vamos a decir, they can't swim. 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 Very good. Ahí sonaron bastante bien. They can't swim. Acuérdense que la T es bien suavecita. They can't swim. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday. And he isn't here today. He was, he was yesterday, yesterday and he is here today. Okay, very good. How do you say letras negritas in English? Bold letters. Yes, letters. bold letters. Bold letters. Ahorita se lo voy a poner en el chat de WhatsApp. Eso es muy importante. Now, let, let me ask you, what is the function of bold letters? To... Resaltar una palabra. Huh? Resaltar una palabra. Exactly. 
when you see bold letters, that means that you have to make emphasis in those particular words. We have to make emphasis in those particular words. So how do you pronounce the first one? Didn't. 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 Weren't. 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 Don't. 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 Doesn't. 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 A ver, díganme ustedes, how do you pronounce this? Aren't. 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 Very good. Aren't. 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 Excellent. Aren't. Can't. 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 Wasn't. 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 And the last one is isn't. 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 Excellent. Very Isn't. good. Isn't. Very good. Very good. So I say today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today isn't Friday. Today isn't Friday. Uh -huh. Today isn't Friday. Today isn't Friday. Uh -huh. We are in class. We are in class. We aren't at the park. We aren't at the park. Aren't. 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 So we are in class. We aren't, we aren't at the park. We aren't, we aren't, at, we aren't at, at the park. park. The park. Yes. Exactly. Good. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Uh, any questions here? No. No? No. Okay. So we go. Uh, we're going to practice uh, a conversation. Here we have a, a combination of did, was, and were. How do you say personajes in English? Celebrity? Um, oh. Characters. Characters? Characters. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, celebrities is usually with Perfect. entertainment, uh -huh, like movie stars, uh, singers, and all that. So, do you remember these characters, the ones in the picture? Oh, yesterday, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just the guy. Uh -huh. Where is this conversation? In a beauty salon. A beauty salon. Very yeah. good. In a beauty salon. In a beauty salon. Yes. Uh, you can say beauty salon, and you can also say beauty parlor. The two. The two are good. But salon is 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 very uh very common. Okay. Uh, do you remember the names of the characters? Melissa and Chuck. Exactly, Melissa and Chuck. ¿Te acuerdan que se pelearon por leer ayer? <laughs> okay, anyway, so Melissa and Chuck. I'm going to read the conversation one time. Vaya poniéndole atención a cada línea, a cada pregunta, a cada negativo, para que vaya viendo cómo en una, en una conversación real se hace una combinación de todo. So listen carefully. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, there you have. ¿Ya les ha pasado eso? Has that ever happened to you? You go to the barber no. or you go to a beauty salon 
and your expectations were different? No. Yo creo que la mayoría ya nos ha pasado. Llegamos y bueno, dice uno, no vuelvo a regresar. All right. Any questions about pronunciation or um, meaning of words? No. Okay. So this time, um, if you notice, I sent you this conversation to the WhatsApp chat. Did you receive it? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, you guys are going to be working in pairs. You practice the conversation. So for example, if I work with Pamela, Pamela is going to be Melissa and I'm going to be Chuck. When we finish the first time, we change role and Pamela is going to be Chuck and I'm going to be Melissa. And that way, everybody has the chance to read all the conversation. Are we ready? Yes. 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 All right. Let's see what we have here. Breakout rooms, eight people. And here we go. Hello, Vladi. Estamos, Vladi. Hola. Julius and Vladimir. Yeah. Okay, do you, got, do you have the image of the conversation? No. Yes. No. Uh, who said no? Oh, okay. Vladimir, can you share? Sí. Okay, yes. good. Yes. Okay, thank you. How do you say enviamelo in English? Send. Send it to me, please. Send it to me, please. <laughs> Send it to me. All right, good. Very good. Conectarme porque tenía problemas y cambié audífonos. Yo estaba y me conectado. Cecilia, did you fix your headset? Yes. Good. So, what was the problem? Was the headset or the computer? The headset. Okay, good. Perfect. So, your headset is working fine now? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college, to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> well, no comment. <laughs> I could okay. say. Let's change. My you said, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, college here. Yes. Oh, what was your major? Dram drama. I was an actor for five years after Coyer, Coyerx? College. 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 Yes, college. College. That's interesting. So why did you come to, pardon. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need, needed the money and I love, love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'll never come back here. Yeah, never. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher? Yes, sir. Mayor. How do you say mayor? Major. Mayor. Major. 
major. What's the meaning of major? What's the meaning? What's the meaning? For example, um, did did you finish your university, Julius and Vladimir? Did what you finish? Is... Did you finish university? Yes. No. Okay. I don't, I don't. Okay, Vladimir, you finish your university. No, I don't. Julius, you finish your university. Yes. Okay. What major? Medicine, architecture, uh, oh, okay. psychology. Profession. Yeah, like profession? like yeah, the profession exactly. Your specialty. Uh, okay. So Julius, what was your major? He's engineer. Oh, what engineer? Industrial. Industrial. Okay. So you like numbers. You like mathematics. <laughs> yeah, you have to like numbers. Uh, <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's mandatory. <laughs> All right, good. All okay. right, let's return to the main session. Okay. All right. Um, did you finish uh, practicing the conversation? Yes. Yes, I Yes. Okay, do you have any questions about pronunciation or um, pronunciation or meaning of the words? Excuse me? La palabra grow out or grow out? Grow up. Grow up. Okay. Yes. Grow up. What, what is the meaning of the word grow up, Cecilia? Um, grow up. Do you mean the first line? It says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Is that grow the one up. you're saying? Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Where did you grow up? Donde creció usted? Where did you grow up? Me? Yes, where did you grow up? Okay, what is the past tense of grow up? Grew up. Grew. So in mm -hmm. my case, I grew up downtown San Salvador. Mm, okay. Downtown San Salvador. Born and raised. Born and raised. All right, any questions about the conversation? No? No. All right. So now let's work with vocabulary. Um, how do you say bachillerato in English? High school. High school. Very good. How do you say tercer ciclo? Um, middle school. Very good. Middle school? ¿Quién dijo middle school? Me. Nelly. Oh, nice. Middle school. So you can say middle school or you can say junior high school. The two terms yes. are good. Junior high school. And how do you say primaria? You can say primary or you can say elementary. The two terms are good. Elementary. Yes, you can say elementary or you can say primary. Right. He, he, the, the two terms are usually connected. It depends where you are. Canada, Australia, United States. They use different terminology, but they're talking about the same thing. All right, so let me show you this. Okay. 
So this vocabulary is related with school. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. How many categories do we have? Categories. Three. 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 What are the names of the three categories? Classes, schools, and places. places. Exactly. Very good. So here we got the three categories. And here we have a list of words. We have a vocabulary list. Each word belongs in each of the categories. For example, classroom. Where can place. you classify classroom? Place. In a place. 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 <clears throat> yes. Classroom is a place. Right? Okay, okay. What about college? School. Schools. Okay. And what is the meaning of college, by the way? What's the meaning of college? University. Or? Very good. College refers to higher education. College no significa colegio. College is higher education. Es educación superior. College. Can you give me examples of a college in El Salvador? ITCA. ITCA is an example of a college. A, a college is an institution that offers you higher education and many times they offer you technical careers. What is elementary? Primary. Primary. School. Okay, what grades do you have in elementary? First. What grades? Uh -huh. Math. No, but what grades do you have in elementary? Oh, uh, uh, first, second, third. Okay, fine. High school, what is high school? Seven, eight, nine. High school. Like bachillerato. Exactly. History, es historia. Junior high. What was the meaning of junior high? Nelly gave us a synonym. Uh, middle school. Very good. Middle school. Junior high school and middle school are the same. Ambos significan tercer ciclo. Lunchroom. What is lunchroom? What's lunchroom? Cafeteria. Yes. Yeah, it can be a cafeteria. Or sometimes... Um, there is, a there is a place designed exclusively for teachers and they call it lunchroom too. Math, what is the complete word for math? Mathematics. 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 Physical education. In the United States, it's very normal that people say PE. 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 <laughs> Yeah, están diciendo physical education. Playground? What's a playground? Playground, playground? Place patio. Patio de juego. Uh huh. And the last one is science. 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 What's, what's the meaning of science? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, good. So I'm going to give you three minutes. Three minutes. Lo voy a volver a poner en pareja. Tiene tres minutos para clasificar todo esto según, um, según la categoría. Remember, if you want to say categoría in English, you say category. 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 So en español. El, la fuerza de voz la lleva en una sílaba diferente. Entonces, muchas veces nos, 
nos confundimos y decimos category, but category is not good. You're supposed to say category. 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 Okay, so let Category. me make groups again. And you only classify. Lo único que tiene que hacer es clasificar cada palabra según en la mejor categoría que usted considere. Here we go. Go ahead. Hola. Hola. Begin. Hola. Eh, college. Hola. Begin. College. College. Is university. Is university. Physical education is science. Math. And science. And yes, PPE. Science. Okay. Cecilia, Maria, did you finish the activity? No, Maria Luisa no escucha, teacher. Oh. Maria, can you hear me? No, no, no encontraba, pero ya le encontré la imagen. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so let's practice. Hi, Cecilia. Hi. But the the class the classes I I math, math. history uh, science okay. um, physical education home place. Estoy una duda en ese junior high porque school. Lunchroom place. Place. What, what's the question about junior high? Um, tengo dudas si es school. Sí, uh. Sure. Sí. O place. No, it's a school. No, a school. It can okay. also be a place in a real conversation. You can also include it in places. But in this exercise in particular, it's better if you put it in a place, I mean school. Okay. Sure. Okay. Math. Math. Math and classes. Classes. Math. In the classroom is places, I mean. Sí, porque es un salón. Ah, el salón. Digamos, todo lo que compone lo físico serían eso. Sí. Sería classroom, sería lunch room y el playground. El gym. El gym. Ah, el, también el gym. Gym no is places. Eso. Ajá. El gym. Así tendríamos que clasificarlo. Sí. Si, si gusta, los anotamos para que tengamos. Oh, ok, vamos a ponerlo. Mm -hmm. Ahí, the, uh -huh. Did you the, finish uh, classifying? Yes. Yes, okay. I finished. All right, good, very good. F finish. finish. All right. Did you finish uh, classifying? Yes. 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 Okay. Can I have a volunteer to give me the answer for classes? Volunteer. Julius? Uh, math. Math. Science. Science. Uh, physical education. Good. 
Any others? History. 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 Okay. Can you mention one more? Can you give us one extra okay. example? Language. Language. Very good. Art. Art. What else? Music. Music. Music, of course. What else? English. English. Yeah. English, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the name of the subject where you speak about Christopher Columbus? Social studies. Social studies. Yes, exactly. Very good. Nice. Now, I need another volunteer to give me the answers for the category where we have schools. Okay. Um, college, elementary, high, junior high. Okay. Can you give us additional examples of schools? University. University, very good. What else? How do you say academia in English? Academy. 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 Good. Academy. Academy. Yes, academy. Uh, what about the place where you go before first grade? Kindergarten. 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 Very good. You can also say preschool. 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 Yes. So you have preschool, you have kindergarten, and then you go to uh, school. All right. Um, and the last one, it's related with places. What, what answers do we have for places, uh, class? Classroom. Good. Gym. Mm -hmm. Lunchroom. And playground. Good. Can you mention additional places um, as examples? Park. Can you mention? Direction. Okay. Uh, in English, you call it the principal's office. Okay. Principal's office. Uh, I was asking like, additional places in the school. So the principal's office is a good example and nobody wants to go there. <laughs> That's the last place oh. you want to visit when you're a student. <laughs> okay, uh, any other examples of, um, of places? Library. The library, good, the library. Anything else? What is the laboratory? Yeah, good. The laboratory. Very good. What's the name of the place where you go if you feel sick? Nursery. 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 Very good. Or you can say clinic. Nursery or clinic. And what if I want to play basketball? Where do I go? Basketball. How do you say cancha de basket in English? Ahí se lo puedo poner en el chat ahorita. Court. Basketball court. Pero si yo quiero decir cancha de fútbol, no voy a decir court. I'm going to say Doctor. field. So, field. ahí dice cancha de basket y dice también cancha de fútbol. What's the difference between field and court? La grama. The grass. Exactly. One is natural. The other one is uh, cement, concrete. Mm -hmm. If it's natural, you say field. Yeah. Si es concreto yeah. o madera, you say court. So that's the difference. Yes. 
Okay, any questions about the exercise with vocabulary? No. No? no. Is everything clear? Yes. Okay. So, do you have any questions about today? No? No. Okay, so tomorrow we will continue with more practice about the simple past. If you may have any additional questions, um, take notes, write it down, and you can ask me tomorrow when we connect again. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good night and sleep well. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.